on the front page of The Sun this morning, I walked into work and it said, Ronaldo World Exclusive, why a blanked Gary Neville? <laughs> and then it said, he's not my friend. I mean, he uses me for TV fame. He will never, ever be coming for dinner. That's the headline. The thing about it is, everybody's got their own opinions, haven't they? It doesn't mean they're right. It's, it's what they, you know, Roy Keane obviously stuck up for Ronaldo. Gary never went against there's, there's certain other people Rooney's probably gone against them a little bit mm. so you know it's, it's your opinion of, of someone um, and you know everybody's different have a listen to this one this is our last clip of the section Cristiano actually responded to his former teammates so Piers was, was poking him a little bit with this I thought saying what about this what about Gary that's what he's and good at Piers what about, <laughs> Re- what about Wayne Rooney do you think they're jealous have a, have a listen to what he said one of your biggest critics has been, and I'm surprised about this. Me too. Wayne Rooney, for example. Who you played with for many years very successfully and were good friends with him. And yet all this year, three or four times, he's come out and attacked you in the media. Piers, I don't understand. Uh, you should ask this question to him, but I don't know. Um, I don't know why you criticise me so bad. Or Is it jealousy as well, perhaps, that you're still playing and... Still in the United probably, probably because he finished his career with 30s, so I'm still playing high level. I'm not gonna say that I'm looking better than him, which is, is, is true, but <laughs> <laughs> but it's that it's, is inarguable. I mean, there's no contest. It's, it's hard to listen that kind of criticize and negative about people who play with you, for example, Gary Neville as well. Yeah, I mean, Gary Neville, you blanked him the other day uh, on the pitch, and he looked quite upset actually. Um, because obviously he likes being your friend, but he's been pretty critical of you as well. When the the people to... can have can have his own opinion, but they don't really know what's going on. For example, inside the the, the training ground and Carrington area, or even my life, they should listen not only one point of view. They have to listen my point of view as well, because it's easy to to criticize. But if you don't know the old story, it's 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 easy, you know. But it's Pierce, as I say before, it's it's part. Are they of, still friends of yours, or do you have a line where they are not my friends? Do you feel a bit betrayed when they do that because yes. you because you played together? It's easy. It's easy to criticize. I don't know if you have a job in television that they must criticize to a, to be more famous. I really don't understand. Do you think they use your name a bit to? Get I think they take advantage of that because they are not stupid. And I really understand and I have to carry on with my life with criticize, criticize or, or when the people speak good about you. But it's hard when you see people who was in the dressing room with you criticizing that way. It must hurt It's you. not good. Yeah. Yes, I did. But not hard. I, I, I'm not going to be more slim. I'm not going to sleep bad because of the criticize. But it's not good to listen to that. Disappointing. A little bit, yes. Mm. Disappointing. <laughs> do, you know, do you know who Piers, his next guest should be? Sir Alex Ferguson. Yeah. Do you, you know what? what his thoughts on what's going on at the Go club itself? Him. Go and get him. Right, here's what I'd say about this. So him criticising Gary Neville and Wayne Rooney, criticising him. The thing is, it's not to be more famous. I don't I, think I it's jealousy either. I don't like that. I, I don't like jealousy. You, you know, Wayne Rooney wouldn't be jealous. This, you know, he's had a great career, one of the best players ever. Mm for United and you know he won't be jealous surely on Gary Neville specifically on on him saying I don't know why he feels like he needs to criticise me because he has a job in TV his job is to critique right but Ronaldo is making himself the number one story by refusing to come off the bench or by Mm. leaving the game early people aren't just going to ignore that especially Gary Neville who is a Manchester United legend Mm. people are looking to him for his opinion on it and of course, he's not going to look favourably on that. It doesn't matter if you're Ronaldo, if you're anybody. It doesn't matter if you're one of the new boys coming in. You're being paid by a club. You can't act like that. And if you want to make yourself the number one story, of course, people are going to talk about you. And by doing this interview and saying there's two sides to every story, people should understand that I'm going through things. Yeah, but other people are also going through things, mm. Cristiano. And you might be annoying them as well. Yeah. Like it's not, it just can't always be about one person. And it, this interview screams it. And I love Piers Morgan. I just felt that there were parts in that interview where he was pushing things on Cristiano. Well, I think and everybody I, knew about the Glazers anyway, didn't they? Yeah, the Glazers. I mean, most is, of the uh, Manchester the United fans they say, well, yeah, we, we, though, whatever he said, we've, yeah. we've said that for the last whatever many years um, under yeah. the ownership. So there's nothing new there. That, I didn't look at that and go, oh, brilliant. I, I looked at that and, and went, 
Well, you know that the fans are going to like you talking about that and you mm. know that's going to get them on your side a little bit more. Um, but the rest of it, I just thought, I thought that was really unnecessary. I think I think there's a lot of things that you're having. The big problem now is what happens going forward. It's still got a, well, you can't a go big back, chunk of the season. Um, what happens in the tr- uh, January window? But, you know, Where does he go, Ronaldo now? Do other clubs look at it and go, Ooh, do we really want to take a chance? <laughs> do we want an exclusive interview when we don't take him off the bench for a game and he gets yeah, annoyed with us or something? That's the problem we've got now. Look, I, I think he's obviously looking for a way out, isn't he? And he's probably going to get it now. I, I, I don't know. It's such that... a shame because what a player for, for United. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, look, fans but... will still say one of the best he's, that they've seen in a Manchester United shirt. But you just you don't want it. sometimes it's when it's how you leave a club sometimes, isn't it? Be graceful. Mm. Be graceful. You're coming to the end of an amazing career. No one I know he wants to play every, that every week, but the manager's got to make them big decisions to say, well, wait a minute, you know, you, you're not going to be number one striker in our club anymore. Whether the argument have said, well, we should be because he, he would always score you a goal, but the mm. manager's there to make big decisions. Gareth Southgate's going to have that problem in the World Cup now. He's got to make big decisions that could either get him sacked or get him, to, you know, uh, and win a, a massive trophy. So that's why managers have paid lots of money. And, uh, you know, their decision not always going to please everyone, but you've got to stick by what the manager's trying to do. Uh, and the manager's obviously trying to do the best for the club. Whether Ronaldo's involved in that is, is another matter. Talk Sport Breakfast with Laura Woods. Monday to Wednesday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.